Launceston is a really vibrant little city, smack bang in the centre of northern Tasmania. There's a mixture of historic and quite architectural buildings as well as amazing gardens and it's just a really peaceful. And today I have the pleasure of checking out this little bougie apartment called The Green Room. The Green Room, we all know that to be that little bougie VIP area backstage for artists, performers, celebrities to hang out in. That's basically what this is. It's a little little self-contained one bedroom apartment that's really spacious and it's just been decked out from top to bottom in a really cool funky retro green room style vibe. As soon as you step through that door everything changes and you're now the VIP of your own show in your very own green room. As you enter the apartment, you come into a galley style kitchen. It is a really well set up kitchen. It's really big. You've got oven, full cooktop, you've got a dishwasher, full size fridge and freezer. On the other side of the kitchen, you have your laundry. So you have a washer dryer combo machine here with a sink and trough with some underbench storage. Over here, you've got your tea and coffee making. You have the espresso machine and you also have a plunger. You've got a cute little bench here with two seats. There's books. You have a little dining table with two chairs and you've got this beautiful retro pendant light above the table. My favourite part of this property was this huge blue microfiber or velvet couch. It is a sectional couch and it's absolutely massive and it was so, so comfortable. You've got some art decorations on the wall behind the couch as well as a mirror and it's just really fun. There's little murals and um, mottos and slogans and things that kind of uplift you and you read it and you're like, yeah, you know, I'm here to have some fun. No green room would be complete without its own cocktail bar with everything that you need to mix and make some cocktails of your own, including two little bottles of gin, which are complimentary. And you even have these four bottles of boutique syrups to make with your drinks. You've got some really unique flavors here. I like sweet things and that was so good. The lighting in here is really great. You've got these beautiful big windows. You do have this massive blackout curtain. There's a huge TV. You do have Wi-Fi here, so you can connect to all of the streaming services. And there's even a record player. And I actually figured out how to use this one. I've struggled with other record players, but this one was really easy. In the master bedroom, you have a king size bed and the bed is made of this spongy, cloud-like, fuzzy fabric. It almost looks like a, a wool or a sheep or something like that. Squishy, really unique, very retro. Bit of an Austin Powers vibe. The wallpaper behind the bed is really cool. There's heaps of storage space, extra blankets, and you also have a ring light as well. So if you want to take some selfies, you can do that. The bed was super comfortable, king size, which I absolutely love. All in all, this was a fantastic stay, and it is a really excellent place to base yourself at to explore the city of Launceston. Honestly, you can be in here and within two or three minutes, you're in shops, you're in cafes, you're in restaurants just outside. It's very quiet in here despite how central it is. That's all from me. I hope you've enjoyed this tour. This is The Green Room. A big thank you to Jesse and to Nadia for having me. Thank you for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed it and consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you all in the next one. See you next time. These glasses are very hard to see out of. They're like basically pitch black. Apparently carbonated beverages don't go in the shaker. I actually used to work in a bar, believe it or not. And that is exactly why my manager at the time didn't let me mix cocktails. I was obviously destined for a different career path. Yeah, actually maybe I'll leave that out. Don't want to get banned. Good guests cleans up after themselves. <laughs>